if you want to take it away, share your screen and we'll dig into tags now. Yes. All uh, right. Thank you, Jack. Um, yeah, we used to work together. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, so our topic today, we're going to go over tags and um, I'll just give you guys an overview of what tags do and kind of scenarios on why you might need to set up tags. Um, so first off, uh, tags are used to limit what type of treatments are offered either during a full day or even just a part of a day. Um, so if we have a look there, um, I'm just going to go to our schedule and I'm going to work here with my uh, practitioner Maya. Uh, she's one of our mental health practitioners, but um, this can be used regardless of what type of discipline you're in. And like I said, the main thing is these are going to limit what type of treatments or sessions can be offered during a day. Um, I'm going to work mostly with our online versus in-person appointments. So if either of you offer those, um, great. Um, if not, this can be used for any type of treatment. Maybe it's your initial visits you only want to see on a specific day or, um, you know, like I said, online versus in-person appointments. Uh, so different cases on when we would want to set this up. Um, so for example, if we don't have tags set up, um, any type of treatment can be offered during any of my shifts here. So this light blue area, these are what we call shifts. And if you have set up your shifts, you know what these are for. The main thing that these do is this is what tells Jane when to offer your appointments on the online schedule. So without any tags set up, any type of treatment can be offered during my um, shift here. Um, so to set up your tags, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just enable your advanced scheduling features as tags is one of our advanced scheduling. So that's done in our settings. And we're just going to head down to the schedule settings and you'll want to make sure that your advanced scheduling is checked on. Um, and our demo site, it is already here. And then with that checked on, we can go ahead and start creating the tags we're going to use. Um, tags are going to be assigned to both your treatments and your shifts. Um, so, for example, in my example, I'm using those online appointments versus in person, and I'm going to create two tags. Um, if I have multiple types of in person and multiple types of online, if they kind of fall under the same, I only have to create one tag for each. I don't have to create multiple tags for every type of treatment I offer. Um, so I'll just go ahead and create my first two here. And now with those set up, um, we'll now assign those to your different treatments. Uh, so in our settings under treatments, classes, and group appointments, I'm going to assign these to uh, our uh, counseling sessions. So in each one, so I'm just going to do our in-person one first. I will then select the in-person tag to assign this to. And Brooke, do you, you were mentioning like limiting the tags. I think is it like you just want to keep like as little amount of tags mm -hmm. as possible because it kind of gets a little bit hard to juggle the, the more you create. Is that right? Yes. I like to think of it like the simplest, the better. The the least amount, the better. The more we set up, the kind of we've got to figure out what's going to what, what's going to what, when if um one tag can be assigned to multiple treatments, you're gonna want to keep it like that. Um, something else I didn't mention was if this isn't something that you require, then there's no need in setting this up. If you can offer any type of session treatment during any day, there's really no reason to set up any tags. I'll 
All right. So um, now that our tags are assigned to our treatments, and you'll be able to see that here without even going into your treatments, you'll be able to see which tag is assigned to which one. So if you're ever wondering what you've assigned there, we can easily see those. And so the next step to setting up your tags is to now assign these to your shift on your schedule. Um, different ways, um, if you um, limit a whole day, so let's say Maya's Thursday here, she only does online. So you can set one tag for that whole day, and then only those online appointments are going to be offered on this Thursday here. So to assign those, we can just go ahead and hit the shifts button and click into that shift. And at the bottom now, we'll see an area to type in those tags. So this was our online day, which was on Thursday. And we can go ahead and hit save. Um, again, if you've got your shifts already added and you have those to repeat, I can add that tag to all of those already created shifts by selecting the all shifts. And now that tags on every Thursday that I have scheduled. All right, so for um, another day, so maybe let's say on Fridays here, Maya is going to do her in-person appointments. Uh, we can go ahead and add in a new shift. I'll just go ahead and do the exact same time. We'll have this repeat. And this is going to be her in-person day. So, Brooke, hypothetically, you could create two shifts during a day, like your morning and your afternoon, if you prefer to do maybe your referrals or your initial appointments in the mornings, you could create a shift on, let's say, Saturday, and then Saturday afternoon, if you're working, mm -hmm. you could do just online appointments, too. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if we, let's say, wanted to do online in the morning on Saturdays, it's just setting that time for when you want only those online, and then I would create another shift after I set up this one. So you can you can kind of get it as fancy as you want with your days. You can break it up. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can even have multiple tags on a day. So if there is a day where you see both in-person or initial and existing clients, uh, you can have multiple sh tags on one day. So maybe on, um, what day is it today? Wednesdays, we do. So we'll go ahead and create one where we have both tags. And I'm gonna show you all what this looks like on your online booking as well here once, once we're done setting this up. So I think it's good to, to point out then that if you've created these tags and then you don't tag your appointments, let's say you forget to, to tag a week of uh, shifts that you have, but all of your appointments that you have created have tags associated with them, does that mean no appointments are going to appear online? Is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So with tags, the key thing here is to make sure that both the treatment and your shift have that a matching tag. Um, if none of my shifts had any tags on it and my all of my treatments did, none of those would be offered online. So I'll go ahead and create even a, another shift here on Tuesdays and I'm not gonna tag it at all. So I'll show you all what that looks like too. All right, so on your schedule, um, so a few things you can easily see from your schedule as well, which treatments have which tags assigned to them, and you can see which shifts also have those tags. So we'll see those here. Uh, so just to go over what we've set up here. So on Tuesdays, we don't have any tags assigned. On 
Um, Wednesdays, we have both online and in person. On Thursdays, we just have online. And on Fridays, we just have in person. And on Saturday, we have a combo of um, a, a, little split, bit of both. a little bit of both online and in person. And you can even do this as well. If you want online available all day, you could, do it, could have done the online as well on that one. So you can mix this up as much as you need to, however your schedule works for you there. Um, so I'm just going to jump to our online booking now and head to, this was all done on our district location. So I'm just going to head to Maya's schedule. And so if I go ahead, oh, one of those is contact a book. Um, so if I go ahead and select the uh, in-person one, we'll see here uh, that today was all combination of the two. Actually, if I go to next week, we'll see all of next Wednesday available, all of next Friday. This was that split one. This is the online day, so none of those times are showing on there. And then this was the day with no tag at all assigned to it. So nothing is going to be offered there. Um, those online sessions, we'll have a look here. Again, we'll just scroll to next week. Um, just on Wednesdays, on the Thursday that is showing, um, that was a combo day, I believe, and then the Saturday mornings only. And again, Tuesday with no tag, no appointment time scheduled on there. Yeah. Cool. So I think one thing we should we should pop back into the settings and just cover is if like Lauren, you have a, a, a practice full of uh, practitioners that um, may do the same type of appointments, but want different scheduling. If you had initially set this up for just one practitioner, those tags on the shared appointments are going to affect everybody, everybody else in the clinic too. Right. So um the tags will have to be put on mm -hmm. to their shifts as well right yes and i set this up here as well so jonathan he's also one of our mental health practitioners so all of those sessions that i assigned those tags to um are also now assigned to jonathan if he offers those same uh, treatments. Uh, so then if we were to go to, if we added those to the treatments, we tag them to Maya shift because she kind of has a bit more scheduling needs. If we look at Jonathan, he, we didn't tag any of his shifts. So if we have a look here, none of his appointment times are going to be offered on any day. So if you do have shared treatments and um, one person might need tags, but the other one doesn't, we'll have to go and tag everyone's schedules. Or I, I guess you could create just uh, treatment specific to those practitioners, you which, could, might be, yeah. which might be a bit of a, a, a big lift if, it, mm -hmm. if you're setting up tags after the fact, mm -hmm. uh, right? Um, yeah. I guess while we're, we're looking at um, kind of limiting or getting more control over your schedules, we might have a look at the, the staff profiles and mm -hmm. have a little look at like the deeper, the deeper uh, points we can take control of too. Yeah, yeah. So each staff member does have a bit more um, individual online booking settings. And so that's done in everyone's staff profiles here. Uh, so if we have a look at Maya's and we can go ahead and um, select the online booking setting here. Um, first off, not all staff members need to be online if they don't want to. So it's not a requirement. If you have somebody who really is hesitant, they don't want to have their schedule online, we can just um, disable them from being available to be booked at all. They can't even, um, clients wouldn't even be able to see their schedules. Um, this other staff specific one, this is probably my favorite one. Uh, this is online rolling availability. Uh, the shifts that you put on your schedule, you can set those for five years into the future. I don't know about you guys. I don't know my schedule <laughs> for next month, I, I, let alone five years yeah. from now. <laughs> I know I've earned some vacations. I'm just not quite sure of the things quite yet. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so for convenience, you could set your schedule for five years from now. Um, but that doesn't mean your online booking can be booked for five years. Um, if you wanted to limit it um, here, we'll just select this online rolling. And so we could have the next two months available for online, yet my schedule itself is set for the next year, two years, three years, five years, um, whatever that may be there. And then as each day happens, a new day opens up for, for scheduling. So I really yeah. like the cluster booking. Let's. Yeah, yeah, cluster, 
cluster bookings are uh, really great to help um, limit some gaps in your schedule. So if you have kind of a day that doesn't have many bookings, if you've got one booking on there with cluster booking enabled or turned on, only your online booking will offer appointments before or after that appointment. So not, you know, if you've got something scheduled in the afternoon, something in the morning is not going to be available. That way you don't have this massive gap if nobody books there. Awesome. Yeah. And also this make me look busy. So this one, um, if you have full availability, but you kind of want to make it seem like you're busier than you really are, you can set this. So let's say maybe I only want four available times to show this will be four appointment times per day. Um, so not your whole week there, uh, but per shift uh, per day, sorry, um, only four appointments are going to show, even if I might have more than that. And then I guess once let's say those four appointments have booked up another four it's going to keep opening up another spot mm -hmm. so yes yeah. four is always available yeah only four and a good thing to note is it's four random times so it could be first thing in the morning combined with the afternoon um so it's going to be four random times whereas that cluster booking um the times are only be offered before or after something that's already booked awesome yeah awesome. Um, I, Another setting that I just actually might mention, Jack, is if if you've got those shared treatments again, um, and maybe somebody wants some post booking time that's individual to them versus the whole treatment and everybody else at your practice, um, an individual staff member, where was it? Where is that setting? I'm just going to go back to uh, post treatment time. So here I can build in an automatic, you know, 15 minutes between appointments, um, just for me only, rather than all of the other staff members who offer my treat the same treatments that I do. Awesome. Okay, I think we we're pretty good on time. I, I thought we, we would have, we would go way over, but we've still got some time for, I guess, some Q&A. So uh, Lauren, if you have any questions, or Amber, if you want to throw any questions about tags, or, or Anything, Jane, we've got seven minutes to spare if you want to cover anything else while we're here. Um, this was extremely informative and I loved it. Uh, I do have a random question that doesn't specifically relate to tags as far as. Uh, yeah, I ask and hopefully I, I, I think <laughs> I'm putting out into the universe that we're going to know the answer. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. All right. I don't know. It might be complicated. Um, so. My practice also does social groups and camps. Mm -hmm. So like if, for example, like a camp that's like three or four days long, is there a way to sequence it all together? So if they booked it, it booked all three mm. days. Are you using that's our awesome. class feature for those? Yes. Yeah. So I've, I've only done single day classes. Mm -hmm. Um, but I haven't figured out multi-day classes. There, there's, yeah, so our class feature, um, can only handle kind of one booking. It's not going to be a sequence. Um, you do have to book in each individual participant in the class for each day. Okay. So yeah. maybe if I did like one day online booking, like the first day of the camp mm -hmm. for booking, and then I could behind the scenes, plug them in for the subsequent days. Exactly. Yeah. What you could do is like, if you're charging, uh, it could be a few ways. Like you could have one, one for online booking that's available to be booked online. You schedule that and you charge the full amount. And then the other two days is might be another class that you schedule that could be free quote free because they've already paid for that one that you initially had online. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So Brooke, and we had one in the, the chat from Amber. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. If if um she has some paperwork that's been filled on good old fashioned paper, mm. how does she upload that into the chart for a client? Yes, yeah, we definitely still have a lot of customers using paper. Um, so to do that, so you can definitely upload those documents into a client file um in their chart. So if I go ahead and select our chart tab here and I scan that paper uh, form in, I can then uh, add in the file slash image option from their chart. Um, once I do this, I can then uh, select the choose file and upload that um, paper form. 
much possible. All right, we have a couple more minutes. If there's any lingering questions, type them or, or shout out. Um, and if there's any topics as well that maybe um, you've been thinking you want to cover, um, let us know and we'll, we'll try and get that sorted out for the next one in a couple of weeks. I'll just make a one thing for tags, um, just one comment, because um, this is the, uh, something that I see frequently asked um, through whether on the phone or through email is my online booking site isn't working. Um, when I get asked that question, if you all do set up tags, the f um, when I do get asked that question, the first thing I look for are tags. So right. it's generally the first thing if I see you have tags assigned to a treatment and I immediately go to your shifts, have a look and see if you've got those assigned there that and then that would be a good starting point to look into why your online booking isn't working. I wonder then let's say if somebody has built out their shifts for the five years, let's say, mm -hmm. um, and then at the end of the five years, they're going to set up their next row of five. It's not going to automatically remember the tags, right? You're going to have to reset yeah. them. Yeah. When yeah. you're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Or, I mean, if you do have your shift set out for like a year, or maybe some people do it for like six months at a time, not really knowing about that online booking, um, if you just extend the repeat date, uh, so if you are at the point in time where you need to change or even um, update it, if you just change the repeat date until after you had set it for, those tags then will still copy over. So whenever you're looking at your schedule, but um, yeah, different ways to to do it once you are at that point in time where you need to redo it. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Okay, I think this is a good time to, to say goodbye. So hopefully we'll see you in the community as well. I'm, 